Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Adhoc Tutorials video channel. In this tutorial, we'll try to set up an Apache and PHP latest versions available at the moment of the recording in CentOS 7. So first we will update the system as well as configure the needed repositories. Next we'll install Apache and PHP, create our first website and enable HTTPS for it. So let's start. Uh, I'll assume that you already have an CentOS with uh, SSH connection established. If not, you could, uh, you could check my another tutorial on how to set up CentOS uh, in VMware Workstation Player. So first let's update the system using these commands. So my system is up to date. Next I'll install some basic utils. Uh, well I'll use nano text editor throughout the tutorial uh, to edit files. Now we need to disable SEL Linux option in order for Apache to work. Uh, we'll use nano for this purpose. So let's change enforcing to disabled. Control O, enter and Control X. Next, uh, we'll install the necessary RPM packages for Apache and PHP using these commands. Well, now that our system has, is up to date and the repositories are configured, let's install Apache. Well, now we installed the PHP version. The latest version at the moment is 7.2. Uh, well, here is the list, the comprehensive list of PHP packages. Uh, you may need to minimize this list based on your needs, but I will install all of them. I will also install uh, the PHP FPM Fast CGI Process Manager. Uh, this will give us performance benefits under Apache. Uh, well, uh, you could also install the previous versions of PHP. For example, you may install the version 7.1 by replacing 7.2. Well, now that uh, the Apache and PHP is installed, are installed, let's check the installed versions using these commands. Well, as you can see, the installed Apache version is 2.4.6 and PHP is 7.2.6. Well, next uh, we will make some basic configurations to Apache. The Apache configuration file is located here. Let's edit it using nano. Uh, we will add the following lines at the end of the configuration file. Uh, I won't go through the all lines available here. Uh, you may Google them if you want. Well, basically most of these options are for security reasons. So let's just paste them. Copy. Well, I'll add these lines uh, before uh, this line. Well, uh, for our website, uh, we will create the separate configuration file and uh, put the file in this directory so that uh, we may override the settings here in our configuration file if needed. So let's save it. Ctrl O, Enter, Ctrl X. Uh, next, uh, we will edit the PHP configuration file, which is located here. Uh, here is the list, the most important 
options you may need to configure. For example, uh, you may consider the, the you, you may consider to change the memory limit, maximum post size, upload max file size. Uh, for example, this option is needed for security purposes. Uh, let's change uh, this option for now. Well, as you can see, uh, this configuration file is self-explanatory. For example, short open tag option uh, is needed in order for PHP uh, to recognize uh, the code uh, between short text, so text without PHP keyword. So let's save this, Control o Enter, Control x Well, now that we have made our configurations, uh, we will start the services and enable them in after start list of the system. First command will start the system and the second command adds it uh, to the auto start list. So let's run these commands. Uh, well, uh, every time we will make the configuration changes, uh, we need to restart the corresponding services. So I'll run this command after every change. Well, uh, additionally, uh, we need to configure firewall and add the corresponding web server ports in firewall alone list. Or alternatively, uh, you may completely disable the firewall using this command. Well, I'll use the first option. Uh, well, now let's check our web server. So this is my IP address of the web server. So it displays the default HTML page. Well, next, let's uh, create the folder structure for our first website. Uh, my our website uh, will be at talktutes1.com. So here I'll define the variable at talktutes1 and use it everywhere. Uh, also, uh, we will create the folder structure as follows. Uh, we'll keep our source files in this directory. So we'll create logs folder, tmp folder and as well as I will create default index.php file with the following content. Uh, this will display the available PHP configuration at the moment. So let's run these comments. Next, we will create the corresponding configuration file for our website. Our configuration file will contain the following lines. So here we define the server name, server alias, the document route of source files, as well as, well as this line will instruct Apache to, to use the PHP FPM Fast CGI Process Manager. Here we define the upload temporary directory and session safe path. So Control O. Enter, Control X. Well, next uh, we will reboot our server. So now we need to open the uh, command line with administrator privileges on our PC. So let's go here. So in this console, we will run the following command. So next, uh, we will add the following line to our hosts file. Well, this line uh, will instruct our OS to forward this domain to this IP address. Uh, you may need to replace this IP address with the address of your web server. So let's save this file. 
let's check if our web server is up and working well great it's working next let's check our website so let's type at hook .com. well tadam it's working and uh, it's showing the index php file so as you can see here's the php version and the options well next let's enable the https ssl connection to our website first we'll install the necessary packages let's redefine this variable because we have rebooted our server let's create the directory to hold the certificate files needed for HTTPS connection now we will generate the certificate files let's fill in the information so let's type ls so basically these are certificate files needed for HTTPS connection now we need to create the configuration file for the HTTPS version of our website it will have the following lines so the important lines here are these two uh, here we define uh, the path to certificate files needed for HTTPS so here we define we instruct Apache to use FastCGI process manager so Ctrl O to save, enter, and Ctrl X. Well, uh, now we need to restart our services. Well, let's go to the browser. Now, if we type with HTTPS, great, uh, it will show privacy error message. Uh, this message will go off uh, when you buy the trusted certificate so all you need uh, is to replace the to replace this file indicated here after you purchased trusted certificate well great uh, now our website is up and working uh, next uh, we'll enable the forced HTTPS redirection so for need for this uh, we need to edit the first configuration file we have created so let's go here and add the following lines well basically this these three lines uh, will enable forced HTTPS redirection let's restart the services now if we refresh this page if we reload this page as you can see it has automatically redirected to HTTPS well next uh, let's create the first file the, the second file and upload it through FTP uh, you could use any FTP client you prefer I personally use FileZilla client uh, I have already downloaded and installed it so let's connect to our server so this is my IP address ROOT TOOR and define the sftp port quick connect let's go to the sources folder uh, 
So here you could see our first created index.php file with PHP info content. So I have created hello PHP file with the following contents. Well, uh, this PHP file uh, will display hello ad hoc tutorials randomly with red or green color. So let's upload it here. Now if we go to browser and call this file so red, green, green, red so well congratulations our first web server is up and running so thanks for watching I hope this tutorial was useful for you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah